students in this class we are going to see anti hyperlipidemic agents so first we'll see the classification of that it is classified into six type the first one is hmg coa reductase inhibitors all the statins are coming under this type examples are lovastatin simvastatin mevastatin pravastatin fluvastatin atarvastatin and cerevastatin second one is fibric acid derivatives examples clofibrate phenofibrate benzafibrate and gemfibrosil third one is bile acid sequestrants examples cholestyramine and cholestipol next one is inhibition of ldl oxidation example is probiocol fifth one is pyridine derivatives examples nicotinic acid and nicotinamide and the last one is miscellaneous agents example beta cytosterol that one is beta so beta cytosterol and dextrothyroxin next one is fibric acid derivatives they are broad spectrum lipid lowering agents they decrease the triglyceride level and reduce the ldl level but they can increase the hdl levels it activates a protein called peroxisome proliferator activated receptor alpha ppar alpha so that is called peroxisome proliferator activated receptor alpha so by activating that this receptor this receptor alpha activates the enzyme called lipoprotein lipase because of activation of that enzyme what happens there would be decreased formation of vldl and triglyceride and also increased hdl cholesterol now we are going to see clofibrate it is a fibric acid derivative and that is having chlorine so it is ending with eight so that is having an ester so here we have a ester which ester it is it is an ethyl ester and from the name itself we can say it is a having chlorine it is having chlorine okay so what is the structure so already we said it is having ethyl ester which ethyl ester that is called ethyl having three carbons no so that is called propyl so ethyl propionate or ethyl propanoate and here with the second carbon what is attached here we have methyl and the same second one we are having this one so what is it para chloro or four chloro this is called total phenyl with oxy so this is called phenoxy so what is the chemical name ethyl two open bracket four chloro or para chloro phenoxy close the bracket then two methyl propanoate or propionate what is the use it is used in the treatment of type 3 hyperlipoproteinemia now we'll see essay or of fibric acid derivative so this is the general structure of fibric acid derivatives what is it first it should have an aromatic ring that is connected to oxygen and next one it is having a spacer group with the spacer group what is attached we have one carbon with the carbon i mean with the same carbon two methyl groups are attached and on that carbon is connected with acid so this is called as isobutyric acid here i have written amino no so that is wrong you change it to iso this is called so what is it phenoxy isobutyric acid what is meant by butyric acid butyric acid is having four carbons but this is not butyric acid this is called isobutyric acid what is meant by iso already in lower classes we have seen so same carbon is having two methyl means that is called as iso so this is called isobutyric acid so what is the general structure of uh, fibric acid derivatives first it should have an aromatic ring and that is connected to oxygen and that is having a spacer group with the spacer group one carbon that is having two methyls with one cooh so this is called as isobutyric acid so they are the analogs of phenoxy as isobutyric acid not amino so they are the analogs of phenoxy isobutyric acid here we said now the isobutyric acid this is essential for activity if the compounds are having ester means that compounds are considered as pro drugs already we have seen the structure of clofibrate that is having ethyl ester ethyl propanoate is present there no so if it is having ester in the place of acid means they are acting as pro drugs example sort clofibrate and phenofibrate already from that we can say it is ending with a so that is an ester in the para portion of the aromatic ring we are substituting with the chloro group or chlorine containing isopropyl group means we are getting significant half life so how we are getting significant half lives here we have aromatic ring in the aromatic ring we are introducing chlorine group or chloro chlorine containing isopropyl ring means 
what you are getting with significant half lives we are getting the spacer group we have here we have spacer no the spacer group is mostly propyl group what is the use of that one they reduce the plasma concentration of triglyceride and cholesterol the fibric acid derivatives increase the activity of lipoprotein lipase so these are all about the structure activity relationship of fibric acid derivatives next drug is dextrothyroxine sodium so it is a dextrorotatory isomer of thyroxine already we have known the structure of tyrosine so what is tyrosine benzene ring here oh and here ch2 ch nh2 cooh so this is called as tyrosine so what is tyrosine so only this one so oh benzene ring ch2 ch nh2 coh that is called tyrosine so with the tyrosine what are all attached with the oh by replacing one hydrogen the whole thing is attached that is called um, diiodo hydroxy phenyl group is attached with the oxygen and with the phenyl ring what is attached to two iodine should be attached so what is the chemical name with the oxygen only this would be attached that's why o open bracket 4 hydroxy 3 phi diiodo phenyl then 3 phi diiodo d tyrosine so that is the chemical name of dextrothyroxine so what is the use of uh, this tyroxine this one stimulates the enzyme called 7 alpha cholesterol hydroxylase so what is the use of this enzyme here that one converts cholesterol into bile acids by means of oxidative catabolism so on oxidation cholesterol would be converted to bile acids so this one stimulates this enzyme so because of that all the cholesterol should be converted to bile acids and it is used as a hypocholesterolemic agent and it is recommended for patients who do not have the coronary artery disease. Next we are going to see bile acid sequestrants. They are group of resins and used to bind certain compounds of bile in the GIT. They are highly positively charged molecules and so bind to negatively charged bile acids in the intestine. They are inhibiting the lipid solubilizing activity and blocking cholesterol absorption. They inhibit the reabsorption of bile acid synthesis that competes with the cholesterol synthesis in the liver. The body needs cholesterol to make the bile and the liver uses up the cholesterol in the blood that reduces the amount of LDL cholesterol which is circulating in the blood and used as a hypolipidemic agent as an adjunct to statins. Next drug is cholesteramine resin. So this is the structure of cholesteramine resin. So what it is? It is a styrene copolymer with divinyl benzene with quaternary ammonium functional group. So what is meant by styrene benzene ring with CH double bond CH2 that is called as styrene. And what is meant by divinyl benzene? What is meant by vinyl? CH double bond CH2 that is called as vinyl. So benzene with two vinyl, divinyl. Benzene with two vinyls. That's why styrene copolymer with divinyl benzene with quaternary ammonium functional group. It is insoluble in water, so it is unchanged in the intestinal tract and unaffected by the digestive enzyme. So it is not absorbed. In the small intestine, it exchanges chloride ion for bile acid. So here, the cationic ion exchange resin B resin binds to an anionic bile acid. So this complex results in increased loss of fecal bile acids and prevents the reabsorption into the liver. This decrease in body content of bile acid is compensated by an increase in the conversion of cholesterol to bile acids. Already we have seen cholesterol, how the cholesterol would be converted to bile acids by means of 7-alpha cholesterol hydroxylase. So what are the uses of this enzyme that is used to reduce the cholesterol levels without affecting the triglyceride level and it is effective in the treatment of type 3 hyperlipoproteinemia. Next drug is probucol. So this is the structure of probucol. So what is it? It is having a phenol with the phenol second and sixth it is having tertiary butyls. Here also phenol second and sixth here we have tertiary butyl and fourth portion is connected to sulfur. That two sulfurs are connected to second carbon of propyl. That is why its chemical name is 4, 4 dash propen this is propen second carbon is connected with sulfur that is why 2, 2 diil bis dithio 
bis dai tai o again bis for this one again bis 2 6 di tertiary butyl phenol so that is the chemical name it lowers serum cholesterol by increasing the fractional rate of ldl catabolism in the final metabolic pathway of cholesterol elimination from the body and it is used as a powerful antioxidant last drug is niacin or nicotinic acid so this is the structure of niacin so what is that it is having a pyridine nucleus and in third position it is having carboxylic acid those oh this is called pyridine 3 carboxylic acid so how can be uh, how can be synthesized we are getting nicotine the nicotine on oxidation by means of nitric acid this part would be oxidized and we are getting acid so that is called niacin what is the use it inhibits the lipolysis in adipose tissue and reduces peripheral fatty acid release into the circulation so that's all about anti-hyperlipidemic agents